on everybody Perry here welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all having a great day and in today's video as you can see by the thumbnail I did pick up a really cool piece from a store it was relatively cheap too but before we get into me showing you guys what I picked up from these stores I gotta show you guys the feature piece of the day so let's get into that I've showed this on the channel before too so you probably have seen it before if you have watched my videos in the past made by Jack Pacific Dragon Ball Z transformation figure Super Saiyan Broly has like a promo card in there as well and on the back, we can see I only paid $10 for it. And I do have two of these, so very cool figure. Um, I know they go for roughly $30 to $70 on eBay, so if you guys want to pick one up on there, go ahead. Otherwise, just kind of keep checking your local game stores, stuff like that. I know these are kind of rare. They're from 2006, so they are a little bit harder to find, but definitely a very cool figure. So before we get into the movie collection figure that you guys did see in the thumbnail, I do got to show you guys two figures I did pick up from round one. It is kind of like a Dave and Buster's, uh, sort of, I guess, a little bit bigger. So so I'm going to show you guys these two figures I did pick up from them. Basically, I had to play a bunch of games just to get the enough points to get both of these. They wouldn't let me buy them outright, unfortunately, but let me show you guys a close-up of these. Right here we have Vegeta, and we also have Son Goku. And you can see Goku is smiling and stuff. Vegeta's got like a mean mug on. Kind of normal for them, two characters, you know, differences, obviously. So, very cool. Uh, these are bobbleheads. They kind of look like Funkos a little bit. But, yeah, they are bobbleheads. I guess for now, I'm going to keep them inside the case. So, I guess these are the only two for this set. We really didn't look into it much yet. But here's the back and stuff, the side. Very cool figures. So, cool to add these into the collection. Something different. As we can see right here, I do have this Goku movie collection piece that you guys did see in the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys where I got this from exactly. I have a bunch of footage of uh, the figures and all that kind of stuff and what was at these stores. So let's get into the footage first and then I'll show you guys a little close up of this figure and stuff. I can't find my way back to you Till you make amends with the demons you've been through I can't regret Leaving you alone Until you find your way back home So here is the movie collection piece of Dragon Ball Z. This is the Return of Cooler movie. So there is four figures in the set, I believe, and I have one right here. I only paid 35 bucks for this, so that's uh, honestly for how good it looks and stuff like that. It's really amazing piece for that price. Can't lie about that. And you see on the back right here, it says Return of Cooler. So if you guys do want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. I'm not gonna read it, but yeah, very cool uh, piece. 
like I said earlier, so you see the other characters as well. So we got Cooler, Krillin, Goku, and SS Vegeta on the back. And on the front here, it does say movie collection. Here is the price that I paid for it, 35 bucks. So you can see on the box as well, there's not many damages or anything like that. So that's why I had to grab it just for, it was amazing price, you know, for how good this figure looks. And it is from 2002 as well. So obviously it doesn't look like it was opened at all. On the top, I can show you a little bit dusty on the bottom as well. It doesn't look like it was opened at all. So very cool figure for, for how old it is. So there were older figures in that one store like this. I did not buy any of those. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know what was in my collection and what I did have, so I didn't buy any, unfortunately. I didn't buy any just because I really didn't want any repeats, and some of them were kind of a little bit more pricier, so I didn't want to buy them. One of the other figures I did pick up was this Super Saiyan Broly. Very cool figure. Paid 35 bucks for this one. It was marked down $5 from $40 to $35, so that's very cool. You see right here, Super Saiyan Broly Limit Breaker Series. And then here's the back as well. I am still looking for uh, Dragon Ball Z version of Broly. I'm looking for Golden Frieza. And I think I'm looking for uh, SSG Blue Go uh, Vegeta. I think I have the Goku one already. So, yeah, those are the other pieces I am looking for. Uh, still in the lookout, unfortunately. So, hopefully I'll get them one of these days. So yeah guys, if you are ever in the area, just outside Milwaukee, definitely go check out those stores. Very cool. One is kind of more newer. The other one is a little bit more uh, older kind of collection stuff. Um, 12 seconds later. One is actually considered a bargain store, I guess. That's what they labeled it as. So, But they had a lot of cool figures in there. And they have more than just Dragon Ball. They have a lot of old Marvel. They have a lot of old DC. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, I can't really name as much as they have. They do have Funkos and stuff like that. A lot of cool pieces. So... If you guys are ever in those areas, make sure you do check out those two stores. They are very cool. Make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe. Any of those three really do help me out with the channel. Really do appreciate it as well. And we are on the road to 300 subscribers and do another giveaway at 300. So make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button down below if you do want to be entered into the giveaway. And it will be at 300 subscribers. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for today. I'm just super excited. I did get to pick up a movie collection piece. It is my first movie collection piece for the collection back here. And obviously, I will be looking for more in the future. I know Lord Slug was there. I think it was around $80. Obviously, I didn't buy it. It was kind of... Uh, uh. It was a little dinged up, so I did not want to pick it up. There was one on eBay uh, for cheaper and in better condition. So maybe I'll pick that one up. We'll see. But I'm just going to be... I like to pick up all the figures in person, but that one just wasn't it for me. Uh, not in that condition. So. But with all that being said, guys, really do appreciate you guys watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.